Hello Divine Souls, welcome back to my channel, Twin Flames Exposed. My name is Terry. I hope you're safe and doing well. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So let's get the collective energy for this Twin Flame reading today. So what I want to do today, collective, is I want to take a look at you. I want to see what's going on with you. I'm tired of talking about the past. I'm tired of talking about woulda, shoulda, coulda. Let's dive down deep to see what the universe is wanting you to know. Holy Spirit, tell me what is going on with the collective. What do you want them to know? You have divine guidance. How fitting is that? I feel like you're asking for guidance. And for a lot of you, you're on a spiritual journey. On this card, there is a star. And the star is usually dealing with meditation and spirituality. It's also about lessons being learned. It looks like you guys are trying to rebuild your life from a toxic relationship that didn't work out. But you guys are definitely in your faith and you're asking for divine guidance. For some of you, you could also have a platform. You could be a star. You could have a lot of followers. But I'm seeing that you're in the limelight or you're going to be in the limelight. And I'm also hearing destiny. I'm hearing that you guys are on the right path. Your next card is abundance. So you have some wealth coming your way. I'm seeing that you're working hard at something but I'm definitely seeing financial prosperity. For some of you, you have a new job offer coming in, but whatever project or whatever idea you're working on is going to be successful, which is why you had the star. And you're also being divinely guided to take this new path. Your next card is unlimited potential. So this is all about endless possibilities. A lot of you are dreaming big, you're setting goals, but for some of you, you could also be doubting yourself. And that's why you're asking for guidance. Some of you are scared to jump out there and take a leap of faith. I feel like your fears are holding you back. But there's something on the back burner that you guys have put to the side. And the Holy Spirit is saying that you need to pick it back up. And this is going to be your abundance. Whatever this project or idea is, it's going to grow exponentially. You are going to do very well. But you have to believe in yourself. Your next card is stability. So whatever you're working on, this is going to cause you to have more financial freedom and stability in your life. And for some of you, this is a side hustle. This is something that you have been working on for a long time. And this is going to be your passive income. You're going to be making money in your sleep. Someone here could also be moving or buying or selling a house. Some of you could be living with friends or family. And that's not working out. And you're wanting to have your own place. And it's going to happen for you because you had the abundance card that came out. And that's also why the divine guidance came out because you're praying about this. For some of you, you're trying to work on your credit. Your credit could be holding you back from getting this house. But don't give up because the star is all about your hopes and dreams and wishes coming true. And you are going to get this house. With this stability card, I feel like for a lot of you, you're also asking for guidance for new love. You're looking for something stable. You're wanting a solid relationship. And that's also going to be happening for you. Your next card is personal power. So you have taken back authority of your life, which has caused you to go on this spiritual journey. You have become more powerful. You're stronger than ever. You're confident. And your intuition has heightened since being on this spiritual journey. Your next card is messages. And on this card, you have a feather. So for some of you in the coming days or weeks, you're going to be seeing feathers or stars. And that's how you're going to know you're on the right path. But with this feather coming out, this is the universe telling you to pay attention to the signs. And with this messages card, someone is wanting to reach out to you. You're going to be getting a message from someone. And this is someone that you have not communicated with in a long time. Your next card is protection. And on this card, there's an evil eye. But the Holy Spirit is saying that you are protected from any negativity or evil force that anyone is trying to send your way with this message and protection side by side someone was trying to send you dark energy but that has backfired because you have endings whoever was trying to send you this negative energy this person is receiving bad luck yeah this person is receiving karma and why do i feel like it's this past person this past person is wanting to send you this message and this person is hella mad because it's over between you two. Yeah, because with the personal power card, you took your power back from this person. This person thought that you were always going to be there. 
and they're pissed off because you have cut off all communication from them. Yeah, you have emotions. This person is in their feelings about the breakup. Also with this card, this breakup really had you in your feelings and your emotions for a while because you love this person. But now that you have released them, this person is wanting to come back. And for some of you, you go through the motions from time to time. You miss this person. But at the same time, you know that they're not for your higher good. You're wanting someone who's going to give you that stability. Someone who's going to hold you down. Someone who you can trust. And someone who's going to love you unconditionally. That's what you're looking for. Wow, your next card is love. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So for some of you, I'm getting new love energy. A new love is going to be entering your life. And that's what you guys have been manifesting. This new love is going to be filled with romance, passion, oneness. And you guys are going to be on the same page. But it's going to take patience. That's your next card. The Holy Spirit is saying, do not force the situation and let it flow because this is going to take divine timing, which is also why you have the stability card here because this person is going to give you stability. I'm seeing that you're also going to be moving in with this person. This person is going to know what they want. And when you meet this person, you guys are going to be married between six and 12 months. This is who you have been praying for. So continue to ask your guides and angels for what you want because your prayers are going to be answered. This person is also very abundant, which is why the abundance card came out. You could be going into business with this person as well. You could be meeting this person through your business, but you're going to fall in love with this person and this person is going to fall in love with you. And this is going to be divinely guided. This person is going to give you the peace and harmony that you have been looking for. No more bullshit ass mind games. This person is very smart and intelligent. You're going to be very enlightened by them. This person is very, very successful. And you're definitely going to have fun with them as well. But right now, you're still trying to recover from that breakup. Because this was a tough and toxic journey that you were on with your person. This is going to be a beautiful new opportunity. And this person is going to bring you a lot of joy. And this person is going to be your soulmate. You have yin and yang. They're going to bring balance into your life. You're also going to be seeing 333, 777, 1010, 111, 1111, and 555. So in the extended reading, I'm going to go deeper on some of these cards. I'm going to take a look at the messages card. What messages do you have coming in and from who? I'm also going to take a look at this abundance card. I'm going to see what's going on with your finances and what is this abundance about. And then I'm definitely going to be taking a look at this new love. And I'm going to see what is this person bringing to the table. And should you take a chance on them. But before we go, let's pull some cards from the Fortune Oracle. What final messages do you have for the collective? So this was short and sweet collective. And you have a lot of good things coming your way in both love and money. Wow, you have patience again, y'all. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It says, slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. And that's what you guys are doing right now. You're in the hermit mode. You're doing a lot of thinking and planning. And you're gaining a lot of clarity on who you are and what you want out of life. And the universe is telling you that everything is going to happen in due time. But you have to be patient. Your next card is the moon. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. And like I was saying earlier, you guys have great intuition and your intuition has been heightened. You're getting a lot of visions through your dreams and your chakras are wide open. This moon is also about fears and that's what I was picking up earlier. For some of you, you're scared to step out on faith. But I feel like while you guys are in this hermit mode, and while you're on this spiritual journey, this is going to help conquer your fears. You also have celebrations. So this is very beautiful. It says you are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. And that's what I just said about you conquering your fears. You're going to overcome this and you are going to take the leap of faith. And you have a lot of new things coming into your life and you're going to be celebrating. 
You also have wish. It says your heart's desire is ready to come true. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So stop being fearful because you're only holding yourself back. Because everything that you have been praying for is saying that your wishes are going to be coming true. All right, let's get one more card. You have beware. It says be careful who you trust at this time. So I'm going to clarify this card in the extended reading because there's someone around you that you need to be aware of or there's something that you need to be aware of. And I'm going to find out what that is. But like I said earlier, you guys have great intuition and you can peep out bullshit a mile away. So let's take this to the extended readings. The extended readings are for members only, but I'm offering a seven day free trial. So you guys are free to check it out. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. So when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and lights always.